the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Christ is among us. He is now and forever shall be. Every year at this time, the church removes us from our regular routines. We come into the Lenten season and things are a little bit different than they were just a few weeks before it and throughout most of the rest of the year. You could almost say that during every Lent we're taken out of the year and sort of plopped into the desert. We are to set out on a 48 day journey through the wilderness. And every year when we go on this journey, the church, the church gives to us all the tools that we need to make this journey to the cross of our Lord. All the tools that we need to behold his empty tomb and all the tools that we need to participate in his joyful resurrection. The church is always giving to us that which we need. And so how is this year any different? If anything, if we continue to try to make sweet lemonade out of bitter lemons, then this year gives to us that same opportunity. The church is still giving to us all the tools that we need to joyfully participate on this journey, to come to the cross and the empty tomb and behold the joyful resurrection of our Lord. This year, we're kind of plopped into the desert in a different way. This year, we are put in a place of isolation and solitude from the rest of the world, kind of stuck in our own homes. And yet, the church is giving us the means to be even more accessible to us than maybe it would be if it was open to the public as it always is. This year, we're kind of plopped into this desert, whether we wanted to be there or not. And going off into the desert on a journey can be a scary thing. The desert is quiet when we're alone. And this is a feeling that many of us are feeling because of the social distancing that is being required of us to prevent the spread of disease. But remember, the church always gives us what we need. And so we may be socially distancing ourselves from one another, but we certainly shouldn't be. We can't be spiritually distancing ourselves from our Lord. Lent always places us in the wilderness and gives us everything we need to journey through the desert, to find by the grace of God our way back to Eden, back to paradise. And in this way, this land that we're in right now is no different from any other. Because Pascha is still coming. Our Lord will still be crucified and risen from the dead for our salvation. And this week puts us right in the middle of this journey. The cross is laid out before us in the church to strengthen us for the second half of the journey. And our time of isolation in our homes is probably just at its beginning and not towards its end. And so, just as the cross gives us strength and length to continue the race, to finish our journey to our Lord, it gives us strength in times of sorrow and trouble in our lives as well. The cross is given to us to remind us of our Lord's love for all of us, to remind us that we do not make this journey to be with Him alone, that we do not make this journey to be with Him in vain. This week, the hymns that change each week that we sing during the Sanctified Liturgy call on us to finish the journey that we began four weeks ago, to continue on our way to salvation, the salvation that is offered to us through our Lord's death and resurrection. The hymns tell us not to finish the race, not to finish the journey of the fast with a long face, but rather 
to retreat in prayer to the inner room of our souls. The inner room of our souls is a place that we need to know well. And it's a place that probably all too often is covered in cobwebs or the room that you go into and flick the light switch and it doesn't come on because we haven't been there in so long. It's a place that we need to know well. But that sometimes we don't give ourselves the opportunity to know. It's the place where everything else around us is turned off. The place where we no longer bathe our minds in the earthly passions, the worries of our life, and the cares of the world. It's a place where our phones are usually turned off. It's a place where we feel that we are more alone, but a place where Christ is there with us. It's a place deep inside. A place where we can see ourselves as the person that we really are, not as the person that we think we are. It's a place where we see ourselves laid bare before our, our Lord and all of our sinfulness and all of our shortcomings in a place where we see that in spite of all of that He loves us and He's with us and He forgives us and He offers to us a gift that we don't deserve a gift of life in Him and salvation in His kingdom and that's what the Lenten journey is all about journeying through the wilderness, retreating to the desert, and finding that inner room within our souls, the place where we can see ourselves as Christ sees us. In that room, we can see how completely and fully our Lord truly loves us, and how far away we have distanced ourselves from Him because of our many sins. I know that we all miss the community of the church, the fellowship and the joy that we share in worshiping our God together in his house. But maybe during this time that we are alone and in the desert, maybe we can find a way to come closer to that inner room within our souls and draw closer to our Lord. If you look at the history of the church, many times the monastics would go off into the desert, off into the wilderness, to find that inner room within their souls. Many times those monastics would live by themselves during the week and then on Sunday come together to worship. Now, then it's not by our own choice. But now we are being given that same opportunity to retreat in solitude, in the solitude of our own homes, to find that inner room of prayer and repentance deep within our souls, that place where we hear the voice of Christ calling out to us, drawing us to Him, and offering forgiveness to those who repent. The time will come, and hopefully soon, when social distancing that we are doing right now will end. A time when we are able to return to the churches and to worship our God together, embracing one another joyfully, hopefully singing Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death into those in the tombs bestowing life. And when that time comes, I hope that I have used my time wisely between now and then, just as I hope and pray that all of you use this time that you have been given wisely, that we retreat into the desert and seek the wisdom that our Lord is offering to us. I hope and pray that we are all able to retreat to that inner room of our souls, to discover that even in our solitude we are not alone, but that God is with us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Christ is among us.